Yeah, it's 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 unbelievable. And, you know, I'm listening to you. I mean, my God, the politics run so deep. Uh, you can see also, uh, Sean, the reason people don't get punished, because police give their own versions of what happened. You know, they, sure, they make reports, sure. which is with uh, Tyree Nichols. Uh, <clears throat> the the that was captured on some body cams. The thing about body cams, it's usually very up close, hard to tell whose hands are where. Uh, and oftentimes, as with Tyree Nichols, the uh, police officer doesn't turn their uh, body, uh, body cam on. But with their, the police, uh, uh, they had been established in uh, uh, a, a camera on the lighting poles in the area. And it's the pole camera that captured the whole beating up of Tyree Nichols. Correct. And uh, and but for that, but for that uh, camera that got a wide angle view of what was going on, uh, the police reports turned out to be not not accurate. They didn't describe any of the beating part of it, uh, and uh, uh, would have. Uh, the community, the family would never have known what had happened uh, to Tyree Nichols. You, you, you know, I want to interject for a second because obviously you've been involved in uh, a lot of wrongful death cases. Um, you just named many high profile cases that we all are aware of. There's another high profile case that just wrapped. Um, Alex Murdoch. We know in his case how his wife and his son died. I have to believe that there are, uh, in most cases, we know how the victims die. Why or what are the police or the families looking for from people like you uh, in cases that, that we clearly know? Cause of death. Well, the, the medical examiner uh, should be making <clears throat> an independent judgment uh, basis on medicine, all the medical school training, the science as to the cause of death mm -hmm. with people who die during police restraints. When the cause of death is because the person can't breathe, <clears throat> That doesn't show any damage to the to the um, uh, body. If I if I take my wrist and put my fingers around my wrist and pop out some veins from pressure on my uh, my hand, uh, wrist, uh, I could see veins and uh, a pressure mark. But when I take my fingers off, within a couple of minutes, there's no mark at all. Pressure doesn't cause marks uh, unless uh, uh, the uh, uh, a knee on the neck, for example. Uh, doesn't cause, or a forearm, big forearm on the neck doesn't cause marks. A, a tiny ligature, a ligature can cause marks. Fingers can cause marks, but a broad area of compression doesn't cause a mark that can be picked up uh, at um, autopsy. So that leaves the the uh, medical examiner, a pathologist, uh, to get information other than just the police officer who's telling him what happened. See, when a when somebody dies in a, in, in a, um, a police encounter, there will often be police officers who come to the autopsy. Uh, it used to be, I thought that, uh, just to find out what the facts were to be able to punish the officer who did it. But uh, it comes out often they come to uh, uh, influence the medical examiner, not to uh, call it a homicide. See, if the medical examiner, like in the Prude case, calls it a homicide, then more action has to be taken. Many of my colleagues feel that, as you partly uh, indicated, most cops are good cops. They don't start out wanting to the, the morning wanting to kill somebody, uh, and that if there is a police officer who's a good cop or a bad cop who causes a death, uh, they didn't intend to. They didn't intend. To. They're just trying to take somebody into custody who was resisting, and often they're resisting because they're not taking their, their psychiatric medications or because they have uh, cocaine or other drugs on board. And they really need to go to an emergency room for an acute psychotic uh, episode rather than uh, to a police precinct. But uh, so, so that um, uh, the um, 
feeling of all uh, of medical examiners that it's not right to call it a homicide because they didn't intend to cause death. If you don't call it a homicide, that's the end of the investigation by police. But normally, <clears throat> we don't judge people on intent. We should judge people on what happens. If the person dies at the hands of another, uh, what somebody else is doing, that should be called a homicide, whether or not it was intentional. Then it's up to the prosecutor to decide whether to uh, bring uh, actions against the individual. But as soon as a medical examiner issues the cause of death, like uh, excited delirium, uh, uh, that doesn't say a homicide. Therefore, it's uh, um, that's the end of the police investigation and of the prosecution investigation. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.